Here's what I believe the meaning of true courage is. Hello, I'm Julian Northbrook from doingenglish.com. People often speak about wanting to be a confident speaker of English. Somebody who projects confidence when they speak, someone who appears to be highly proficient in English, charismatic when they speak English, maybe a better way to put it. What does that mean exactly? Does it mean being perfect in English? Does it mean never making a mistake with your words or your grammar or having perfect pronunciation and accent that is identical to that of a native speaker? No, I don't believe it is. And in fact, if you are that person, fantastic, you have made it. And indeed, that is the kind of person that I help people to become, in a sense. But I don't believe there's anything particularly courageous about stepping out into the world in that kind of state and using English. In fact, I think if you have reached that level, just getting out there is a given, and it's nothing special, and it's nothing really to praise. I believe that true courage, truly courageous people, are those who are not there yet. Their English is not perfect. Their English still needs work, yet they are still willing to step up and do stuff in English. I believe the most important thing, the most essential element of being a high level, highly successful, highly proficient, uh, effective speaker of English as a second language is the ability to do things in English and the willingness to do so even if you're not yet perfect, even if you do still need to do some work to your English. There is something far more confident, something far more charismatic about people who have the courage to do that. Think about any film that you have seen where you have the superhero who, at least on the surface in the beginning, appears to be perfect, but then we see that they have some kind of character flaw, some kind of weakness. And it's not until that character overcomes their weakness, faces it in the real world, faces their fears, as it were, that we see them as a truly courageous and truly charismatic, confident person. So if you are still working on your English, still trying to improve, no, that is not a reason not to get out there and do things in English. Indeed, we get good at what we do. And the more that you have the courage to step up and do stuff in English right now, the faster that improvement is going to be. I, of course, can help you to get there faster by, metaphorically at least, taking you by the hand and leading you down the right path. And the place to start is doingenglish.com slash free training, where you can watch my free training, which will teach you the five key changes that you need to make to improve in English as a high level English speaker. This then is it for me, Julian Northbrook, signing out from another video. If you found this useful, give it a nice big old thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs up anyway, and I will see you, my friend, in the next video. Thank you, and bye bye.